So now we're going to talk about sequence and series. So first, we're going to identify if this is a sequence or this is a series. So that's very easy. All you have to do is the sequence is a list of numbers while series is the sum of the numbers. So in short, a sequence is yung mga numbers lang na may kama. Pero kung may plus na, that's a series. So this one is a sequence. This is a series. Because my plus na, this is also a series because it's the sum of negative 1 plus 1 plus negative 1 plus 1 plus negative 1. So this one, because there's no plus, so this is a sequence. So that's how easy it is to identify if it is series or sequence. So now we're going to identify this one. If what kind of sequence is this? There is arithmetic, there is geometric, there is... There's Fibonacci and none of the above. For the arithmetic sequence, that's the sequence with common ratio. Common difference, rather. So it means na for you to identify kung ang next term is, kailangan mo lang may plus na number. Example, 3, yung first na, na element, which is A1, usually um, symbolized by A1. So sunod niyan is A2, A3, A4, so on and so forth. So kasi 3, halimbo kung ang common difference is 3. So, ang sunod niyan si 6, plus 3, 9, plus 3, 12. So, this is arithmetic. However, fibon a geometric is, if arithmetic is there's common difference, the geometric or there is a common ratio. Ibig sabihin, para malaman mo nung next term, kailangan may i-times ka na number. So, halimbawa kung ang ratio dito is 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 3 times 27 is 81. So that's how are you going to identify what's the next term. That's for geometric. Fibonacci sequences are sequences now for you to identify is you're going to add the first two terms. So the previous two terms rather. So example 1. So okay, mo muna yan. So kasi 1. So no, i-plus mo yung dalawa. 1 plus 2. 2. Oh, 1 plus 1 pala. 2. 1 plus 2 magiging 3. So no, the term is 2 plus 3. Five. That's how you're going to get Fibonacci. Next, if it is not among the three, so that's, that's of course none of the above. So we're going to identify these sequences if they are arithmetic, geometric, Fibonacci, or none of the above. So the first one is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So for the first term, is this is A1, this is A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. May dot dot dot, ibig sabihin hindi bihan siya tapos. So if A1 is 3, paano mo makuha ang A, ang A2, which is 4? So ang gagawin mo lang is mag plus ka ng 1. So what you're going to do is plus 1. So plus 1 ka rin dito, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. So kung mag plus ka, that's an arithmetic. So kung kailangan na kapag mag plus ka, isang number lang i-plus mo, that's an arithmetic. So this is an arithmetic sequence. Next one. 4, 8, 16, 32. So, para makuha mong 8, pwede ka mag plus 4. Pero kung alam dito sa next one, kung hindi siya plus 4, ibig sabihin, that's not the pattern. So, for, what are you going to do? So, ang 4, para makuha mong 8, is kailangan mo mag times ka ng 2. So, 8 times 1 ng 2. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 2, 32. So, ibig sabihin, there's a common ratio kung sa pag-times. So, kapag may common ratio, ang ta ang this sequence is an example of geometric. So, number, uh, letter C. 1 third, 1 sixth, 1 over 12, 1 over 24. So, kung ganito, anong, how, if the given is 1 third, anong gagawin mo sa 1 third para maging 1 sixth? Anong i-plus mo sa 1 third para mag 1 6? Kung halimbawa kung yung i-plus mo dito, kailangan mo rin i-plus dyan para mag-arithmetic siya. So, there's a common difference. However, for this one, let's... I think it's not one addition kasi nga dito, 3. Tapos naging 6, naging 12, naging 24. So, as you notice, mag-times ka ng 1 over 2. Very good. 1 over 2. Kasi 1 times 1, 1. 3 times 2, 6. So, mag times ka na naman ng 2, maging 12 ang 6. Mag times ka na ng 2, maging 24. So, kasi may times, this is an example of 
geometric. Next letter D. As you can see, um, one third, one six, one over twelve. So, so one third. Ano i plus mo sa one third para mag one six. So ang gagawin mo dyan, minus ka ang one one six minusan mo ng one third. So one six minus 2 over 6. Kasi 1 third is this case 2 over 6. So, literally, ang i-plus mo is negative 1 over 6. So, kung ba kung i-plus mo yan dyan, mag-plus ka ng negative 1 over 6, ibig sabihin the answer is 1, 6. Kung ba kung mag-plus ka, ay, sorry, sorry. Mag-plus ka ng negative 1, 6, the answer is 1, 6. Kung mag-plus ka na naman ng negative 1, 6, the answer ba is 1, 9. So, so you can see, 1 sixth plus negative 1 over 6 is not 1 over 9. Hindi na siya 1 over 9. Kasi nga, plus minus, so mga plus 1, 1 plus negative 1, that's 0. So this is not arithmetic. Hindi rin siya geometric kasi 1 half, diba kung times ka ng 2 dito, maging 6. Mag times ka ng 2, dapat 12 siya. So it's not... It's not 12. So this is not a geometric. This is not also Fibonacci because kabi nga Fibonacci, i-plus mo yan, maging ganito dapat ang next term. So that's not Fibonacci. So this is not of the above. Next, letter E. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. So I think it's clear kasi 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 3, 5. So kapag i-plus mo yung previous two terms, that's a Fibonacci sequence. Next, 2, 5, 10, 3. So, for this one, para makuha mong 5, plus ka ng 3. Kung para makuha mo ang 10, plus ka ng 5. Para makuha mong 17, plus ka ng 7. As you can see, ang pattern yan is may, yung, yung, what you're going to add, there's, a, what you're going to add also, you're going to add 2 on it. So, there's, they are even numbers. So, 3, 5, 7, Sunod mo na i-plus is 9. So, hindi siya arithmetic, hindi rin, hindi rin siya geometric, hindi rin siya Fibonacci. So, it's none of the above. Another example is 4, 6, 10, 16, 26. So, ang 4 para i-times mo na 6, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's ano, ano bang i-times mo sa 4 para mag 6? So, ang 4 para mag 6 is you're going to multiply 3 over 2. So, if you're going to multiply 3 over 2 sa 6 naman, the answer is not 10. So, it's not geometric. It's not also arithmetic because if you're going to, ang i-plus mo dapat is 2. Dito mag-plus ka ng 4, mag-plus ka ng 6, mag-plus ka ng 10. So, there's no common difference. So, dapat pare-pareho lang i-plus mo kapag arithmetic. It's not also, it. Let's check the fifth Fibonacci. You say 4 plus 6, 10. 6 plus 10, 16. 10 plus 16, 26. So this is a Fibonacci sequence. So that's how it is. Next, we're going to determine now the first five terms of each defined sequence and give the associated series. So N. That stands for the, if it is first term, so n is equal to 1. If it is second term, n is equal to 2. If it is third term, it's n equal to 3. Kapag fourth siya, n is equal to 4. Fifth is n equals to 5. So let's identify what's the first term. The first term is signified by a1 is equal to 1 plus, ang n dito is 1. Kasi first term siya, ibig sabihin ng n is 1. 1 minus 1 squared. So, 1 plus 1 minus 1 squared is 1 times 1, which is 1. 1 plus 1, it's 2 minus 1 is 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang A1 is 1. This is A2. So, N is equals to 2. Second term siya. So, A2. 1 plus, ang N magiging 2 minus 2 squared is equal to 1 plus 2 minus 4 because 2 squared is 2 times 2 so 1 plus 2 3 minus 4 it's negative 
1. So a2 is negative 1. Next, n is equal to 3. Ibig sabihin, a3. 1 plus n magiging 3 minus 3 squared is equal to 1 plus 3, 4 minus 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. Which 4 minus 9 is equal to negative 5. So, ang a3 is negative 5. Now, let's proceed with n is equal to 4. So, that's a4. We're going to identify the first 5 terms. So, ibig sabihin, n is equal to 5. So, 1 plus 4 minus 1 plus 4 minus 4 squared. Which is equal to 1 plus 4, 5 minus 4 squared is 16. So 5 minus 16, it's negative 11. So A4 is negative 11. Next, N is equal to 5, that's for A5. 1 plus, ang N magiging 5 minus 5 squared is equal to 1 plus 5, 6 minus 5 squared is 25. 6 minus 25, it's negative 19. So, A5 equals equal to negative 19. So, the first 5 terms are 1, negative 1, negative 5, negative 11, at saka negative 19. We're going to identify now the associated series. The series is, I plus mo yung 5 terms. 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 5 plus negative 11 plus negative 19. Or you could simply write as s is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 5 minus 11 minus 19. That's the associated series. I plus mo lang yan siya. 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 5 plus negative 11 plus negative 19. We'll proceed with the second series or the second sequence. So it is given in here na ang A1 is 2. So, ibig sabihin, kapag n is equal to 1, ang a1 is always equal to 2. No need for solving. Pero, in a n is equal to 2, a n minus 1 plus 3, for n is greater than or equal to 2. Kapag ang n na is equal to 2, ganito na ang formula. So, ang a2 is equal to 2, a2 minus 1, plus 3. So, 2 A1 plus 3. So, alamin natin kung sino, ano yung 2 A1. What is A1? We know that A1 is 2. So, 2 times 2 plus 3 is equal to 2 times 2, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So, if N is greater than 2 or greater than equal to 2, ganitong formula. So, A3 is equal to 2 a is 3 minus 1 plus 3. So, it 2. Ito siya. Ibig sabihin na ito, diba? A2. So, A2 plus 3. So, ang A2, yung term A2. So, ang A2 is 7. So, 2 times 7 plus 3, which is 14 plus 3, which is equal to 17. We know it already na kapag N4. Ganito ang gagawin. 2 times mo sa 17 plus ka ng 3. So, 2 times 17, that's 34 plus 3, which is equal to 35. So, the A1 is 2. A2 is 7. Next is 17. Next is 35. Okay, 35. That's 37. Next, ang A n is equal to 5. A5 is equal to ang 2 times mo sa 37 yung previous term, plus 3. 2 times 37, that's 74 plus 3. 74 plus 3, it's 77. So, these are the five first five terms, 2, 7, 17, 37, at saka 77. We're going to identify now the associated series. The associated series is ang A1, 2, Plus 7, plus 17, plus 37, plus 77. Plus 7, plus 17, plus 37, plus 77. So this is the associated series.